Hello, in this video we are going to evaluate 9 to the power of 900 minus 9 to the power of 901 without making use of calculator. So we have 9 to the power of 900 minus 9 to the power of, we can as well rewrite this as 900 plus 1. So the next thing is for us to make use of this known identity. If you have a to the power of m plus n, this equals a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So we apply this identity right here. And what we are going to have is 9 to the power of 900 minus, we have 9 to the power of 900 times 9 to the power of 1. So right now, we have 9 to the power of 900 here, and we have 9 to the power of 900 here. They are simply the same, so we can factor that out. So we bring out 9 to the power of 900. And what we have here is, if you divide 9 to the power of 900 by 9 to the power of 900, you are going to have 1. Then we have minus, if you divide what we have here, 9 to the power of 900, times 9 to the power of 1 by 9 to the power of 900, you are simply going to have 9 to the power of 1. So we go ahead, that means we are going to have 9 to the power of 900 into this 9 to the power of 1 here is simply 9, so we are going to have 1 minus 9. So we go ahead and this will give us 9 to the power of 900 into 1 minus 9 is simply negative 8. So, what we are going to do is to multiply this out. This will give us, if you take out this negative sign here, you are going to have minus 9 to the power of 900 times 8. So, what do we do? 9 here is a perfect square. So we can as well have this as negative 3 to the power of 2, which is 9, all to the power of 900. And we can as well rewrite this 8 here as 2 to the power of 3. Now, let's apply one known identity right here. If you have a to the power of n, all to the power of m. This equals a to the power of n times m. So we are going to multiply this exponent out. So this will give us negative 3 to the power of 2 times 900 is simply 1800. And this will multiply 2 to the power of 3. So, this is the least point or this is the lowest point we can go in this particular video. So, we have negative 3 to the power of 1800 times 2 to the power of 3. Now, we have another similar problem. Now, let's consider this. If you have 2 to the power of 99 minus 2 to the power of 98, what will be your answer? So, we make use of the same similar approach. We can rewrite this as 2 to the power of 98 plus 1 minus 2 to the power of 98. Now we make use of this identity as we have used before. If you have a to the power of n plus m, this simply equals a to the power of n times a to the power of m. So we apply this identity right here and this will give us 2 to the power of 98 times 2 to the power of 1 minus 2 to the power of 98. So, like what we did before, 2 to the power of 98 is here, and 2 to the power of 98 is here, we simply factor that out. So this will give us 2 to the power of 98 into, this is 2 to the power of 1, and when you divide 2 to the power of 98 by 2 to the power of 98, we are simply going to have 1. So this is minus 1. Now, this simply will give us 2 to the power of 1 is 2, so we have 2 to the power of 98 into 2 
minus 1. And if you concentrate on what we have inside this bracket, 2 minus 1 is 1. So this will give us 2 to the power of 98 into 1. And this equals 2 to the power of 98. So that means we can as well write it as if you have 2 to the power of 99 minus 2 to the power of 98, this equals 2 to the power of 98. Now, there's also another problem that is also very similar to this. What if you have 200 squared minus 199 squared? You have 200 squared minus 199 squared and you are going to evaluate this without making use of a calculator. How are you going to go about it? Now, I'm going to give you two different methods of tackling this problem. Now, the first method, let me have it as method one. Now, this is 200 squared. We can as well rewrite this as 200 is simply 199 plus 1. 200 is 199 plus 1, and this is all to the power of 2. This and this are the same thing. Then we have minus 199 squared. Now, this is in the form of, let me go further. This is in the form of a plus b and to the power of 2. What we have here is in this form. Now, if you expand this, you are going to have a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. And in this case, a equals 199 and b equals 1. So if you insert what we have inside this bracket into this identity, what you are going to have is we have 199 squares, then plus 2ab, that is 2 times 199, then times 1, then we have plus 1 squared, that is b squared. Then remember we have minus sign here, we have minus 199 power 2. So let's proceed. This will give us 199 squares plus if you multiply 2 times 199 times 1, we are simply going to have 398. Then we have plus 1 minus 199 squares. So this will cancel this because 199 squared will minus 199 squared. So what we have left is simply 398 plus 1. And 398 plus 1 is 399. So this becomes the answer for if you have 200 squared minus 199 squared. This equals 399. This is the first method. Now let's consider the second method as well. We can have method 2. This method 2, we are going to make use of difference of 2 squares. Let's record the problem we have. 200 squared minus 199 squared. Now, the difference of 2 squares simply means if you have a squared minus b squared, this equals a plus b times a minus b. And in this case, our a equals 200 and b equals 199. So what we are going to do is to insert where we have a 200 and instead we have B 199. So that means we are going to have this give us A plus B we have 200 plus 199 and A minus B we have 200 minus 199 and 200 plus 199 is simply 399 and 200 minus 1 is 1. Sorry, 200 minus 199 is 1. Now, if you multiply 399 by 1, you are simply going to get 399. And this becomes the answer as well. This is very simple and it corresponds to what we had before. So that is it for the video. Thank you and goodbye.